how were you listening to the message because my spirit you have inherited it what did you do in this video apostle michael Oropo is being interviewed by his mentor apostle arome osai apostle arome osai was asking him how he got to inherit the spirit that is found in him he gave real details in this clip let's listen people this is you know this young man he is Europe. So yesterday somebody got your recording and, and sent to me and said, Who is this from, from UK? Say, who is this young man? Says my son. Say, oh, no wonder. Now the point is how were you listening to the message? Because my spirit, you have inherited it. What did you do? Thank you, sir, for the opportunity. I I came here in 2014 March. When I <laughs> difficult to start class. <laughs> yes. So um, I got in. You were giving a charge, the way of the fathers. You were talking about the father. So I was thrown aback. And when I went home, I started an eight months fast. And Luckily, I was at home at the time. Just got back from service before enrolling for masters. So I had all the time. I was listening to the messages for over eight hours every day for eight months. Nobody said you should listen to it for two hours, for 30 minutes, for 45 minutes. He now said for eight months, he was listening to messages for eight hours. So you see, the system provides for you to decide how long your master's degree will take. How long your first degree will take and as he followed it that way he received the inheritance we're not talking about the methods he received the very spirit that is responsible for the transmission hallelujah yes yes <laughs> okay and i was praying i came for we're having three hours prayers every day here Luckily, when I got here, it was week of prayer. Reverend Donatus declared 14 days prayers. So I, that was when I came in. So I joined the prayers for the first time. I was stretching from morning to evening for like 14 days. I, I've never done that before at the time. So after I left the place, I discovered that my prayer energy became higher. So on my own, at home, I could pray for five hours. I could pray for seven hours. And everybody I spoke to literally began to cry. I didn't know simple scriptures I knew at the time. I would share them. People started crying. What is going on? And then a hunger for fasting followed up. And then I just, that was when I realized it's not based on principles and laws alone. There is an energy within. I have always loved the relationship between Apostle Rupa and Apostle Rome. You can see how genuine and free they are speaking to each other. We pray that such spirited relationships will continue to exist in the apostolic realm instead of negative insinuations from media about a supposed rift between one or two. But for me, these generals have been a blessing to me and to so many Christians out there. May God continue to strengthen their efforts and bless them more and more with the anointing. Amen. Subscribe and God bless you.